So guys, we have here the new FRG Pro. We're gonna do the unboxing. You have the QR code to download the app and the link for the user manual. Open this. So inside the box, we can find the FRG Pro Gateway. One FRG Pro transmitter. This transmitter you know, is not compatible with the previous FRG products. Two Excel sensors. The difference with these Excel sensors, they have a yellow logo. These sensors are not compatible with the previous FRG products either. One mini sensor. And also a white cable. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the installation guide. You can find the installation guide in the back of the box. frg.com slash frg pro help. We already have the website open in the computer. So we started with the step number one, that is set up the sensors and transmitter. Here you will find the different diagrams of the installation. It's important to see in which port you should connect each transmitter into the, eh, each sensor into the transmitter. And also the direction of this arrow line can you see the direction here maybe you can see here better there is a arrow inside the sensor and on the transmitter you will have different ports one two and three So depending on the type of installation you have, you can see where to connect the sensors and also the direction of the arrow on the installation. We can see also here a small guide of how to find the fit cable on your electric panel. So to attach the Excel sensors and the mini sensor, the only thing you need to have clear is to make sure the arrow mark is always toward the fuse box. I already explained you where the arrow, ma arrow mark is. And for the transmitter, each port has a different meaning. So the port number one is for multi-circuit. This 
uh, option is not available yet. The port number two is used for energy consumption. And the port number three is used for solar generation. You should insert the sensors first before powering on the transmitter. So before powering on the transmitter, before inserting the batteries, you should already connect the sensors. So it's important to follow this guide step by step so you don't have any wrong readings. Once you have installed the sensors and transmitter in your electric panel, now it's time to power on the gateway. So this is the step number two. This MAC barcode and the serial number, we're going to use it during the installation. So it's important to keep the box near you. And you need to have a USB power adapter, which is not included on the kit. You can use any power adapter from the cell phone, tablet, or a power strip like the one I have here. When you plug it in, the power LED should turn solid green, as we have at the moment. The second LED is the transmitter. This might be red or green, depending if the transmitter is installed or not. And the Wi-Fi should be flashing red, indicating that it is ready for Wi-Fi configuration. Now we go to the step number three, connect to the app. I already downloaded the FRG Pro app, but you can open Google Play or the Apple Store and look for FRG Pro. This is the app you have to download. And now select the option Sign Up. This part of the installation is kind of tricky. So we're gonna follow the user guide we have in the computer. To create the FRG Pro account, enter the name as you wish to be registered. So here I'm just gonna write my name. Number two is the email address for the FRG Pro account. So we're gonna have here two different email address to input. The first one is the email address for the FRG Pro account. And the second one is the email address for this specific gateway. Because with the FRG Pro, you can install multiple gateways under one FRG Pro account. Because I'm just gonna install one gateway, I'm just gonna use the same email for both. So as I mentioned before, the username should also be an email. I'm gonna use the same one because I need to install just one gateway. If you are thinking to buy another gateway in the future, it's better to use another email address and keep the main one for the FRG Pro account. Then we need to set up the password. So the password must be at least 10 characters and must have at least one number. So we're gonna create, I do, you can see here when you start typing, the password must be at least 10 characters long. The password must contain at least 
one lowercase letter, letter and the password must contain at least one number. So I'm writing my password secret 2020. And now you confirm the password. Also, I'm using the first one capitalized secret 2020. And touch the register button. So now you go to this screen where you have to input the username. The username I selected is my email address. The password we said was this capitalized security. I know, secret. Secret 2020. And the verification code, you will get the verification code in the email address. I got it here. And you get the email from the FRG Pro application. My number is 6784. So now I enter my security code here, 6784, and tap on verify account. So as you can see now, the FRG Pro account has been set up. I think it's important to write which email you used as the FRG Pro account, which email you use for your username, as well as the password. Okay, we already registered an FRG Pro account. We verified the account, and now it's time to register the device. So it's important to follow all the guide before registering the device, make sure the gateway is powered up. We already have the gateway power up. Other important thing here is to turn off your uh, cellular data. So I'm going to turn off the data. I just keep with the Wi Fi. And you should also make sure you are in the network 2.4G. At the moment, I'm on 5G. So I'm switching to my 2.4G account because the gateway is just compatible with 2.4G. So now that I make sure I'm in the right network, I can continue. Tap, the set, tap set up a new device. This MAC address and serial number you can find on the label of the gateway, but also you can find it here that is more convenient. You can just type the MAC address and serial number from the box and it also has a really nice option to scan the barcode. So for this I recommend you when you are scanning the MAC to cover the serial number. And when you are scanning the serial number, for example, here you can see it scanned the QR code, and, but this is wrong. So it's important to cover all the other barcodes. So you can just scan the barcode needed. You can see the serial number now is working. And with the Mac address now it's working so i don't know you can put a tape on the barcode or cover as i did it or just type the numbers and letters i'm just gonna double check that everything is good 84 f3 
and the serial number. So now that I double check that the information is correct, I can tap on configure your device. Now it's gonna ask for the electricity supply voltage. You can set up according to your country. I'm just gonna continue. The voltage was successfully updated, okay. And now we have to do the Wi-Fi setup. We can see the MAC address, you input and serial number. Now we're gonna turn off this automated process and tap on submit. In this screen, you should input the information of your Wi-Fi network. So make sure you write the name as you have on your phone. So I'm gonna write the name of your of my network. This is uh, lowercase, uppercase, and number sensitive, so make sure you write it just same as you have. And the router password. Now the next screen it tells you to go to your network and connect to the Glow account, to the Glow network. So now we go to the network and you will see this new network that is called Glow tap to connect to the GLOW network. Once connected, tap on the button continue. And you will see here the message. Success, your effort your pro gateway has been connected to the Wi-Fi. Please check. Tap on the back button. So at this moment, I don't have any uh, transmitter or sensor installed. So as you can see, it says clamp transmitter consumption, no data found because I didn't connect the transmitter or sensor. But you can see the FRG Pro gateway is connected. And here on the gateway, you will see the green, L the LED is solid green. So it means it's connected to the Wi-Fi network. 